Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Thursday, April 30th already, and all kind of things are opening up tomorrow. Well, a few things, and then I hear from some of the neighbors that on May the 15th, more, the whole city's opened up. So, we'll see. I hadn't heard that part yet, but um, they heard it on the news, so I guess it's right. <laughs> Yeah, so if the mayor turned everything loose, I should have had a text message on that. They usually give us a text message when they update things like that. Well, anyway, let's get on with what I'm on here for because it's way more important than that, although it is related. Okay, I want to share with you two videos, actually. Um... In fact, while I am thinking of it, I'm going to go ahead and, um, let's see, I need to, oops, messed up. Let's back up. I want to tell you about one of Daniel's, uh, Daniel Cannon's videos, and then um, Pastor Sandy was told to watch it, and he did. And he studied on it all day, and then he did a message on it. So, if you, uh, if you listen to Pastor Sandy, you may have already heard it. Let me see, I have to hit history. I'm just going to link his, because um, it's really more than one part. So, uh, let, me, let me pause that, because I got up to 52 minutes and 20 seconds, and I decided to go back and then look up this video he's talking about of Logic Before Authority. And I found I had already watched it all but like three minutes because they were singing some weird song at the end. But it had a point, you know, it was just not my taste in, in music. And then at the very end, I lit, went ahead and finished listening to it. It said, they didn't count on us and they didn't count on me and they didn't count on, on me, and they didn't count on us. And he got lots and lots of people to say that, and he, they played that through the credits at the end. So he did a really great job with that video. He's, he's good at it anyway. Some people, you know, they have better equipment and know how to do all that stuff. So anyway, <clears throat> go to Daniel's. Um, I wanted to play the very first part and let you hear this his is called a warning to the world viral information hashtag operation radiation see i've tried to tell you all this covid virus is not what they say it is yes they showed us videos they managed to get them on to youtube for us conspiracy theorists to use to show how people were just dropping dead in Wuhan. And apparently, according to what I heard Pastor Sandy say, they probably said it in this here, and I missed it. You know, I get distracted easily, so I miss things. But they were doing that in Italy. Also, places where 5G was already cranked up in every neighborhood. Okay, well, <clears throat> all right, let me take a listen to this Logic Before Authority video. A lockdown that will be repeated the fall of 2020 with millions of real deaths. This is an urgent warning to all the people of the world. Question, what things do the 1918 Spanish flu and the 2020 coronavirus have in common? Answer. Both have a next generation wireless communications technology being rolled out. Both have a worldwide pandemic and a lockdown of people and businesses. And both have the John Hopkins University and the Bill Gates family controlling the narrative across all media. Bill Gates' grandfather and John Hopkins University person from there were behind the scenes in 1918 and now come to 2020 and we've got Bill Gates the grandson 
people from John Hopkins for funding this thing and uh, doing the work of getting it going. And they're all involved in the Illuminati. Now, listen a little more. Okay, we'll start here. During a speech at Georgetown University, Dr. Anthony Fauci stated on January 10th, 2017, that during the Trump administration, that there would be a surprise outbreak. Is that there is no question that there will be a challenge to the coming administration in the arena of infectious diseases, both chronic infectious diseases in the sense of already ongoing disease, and we have certainly a large burden of that, but also there will be a surprise outbreak. And I A surprise outbreak. Pandemic preparedness in the next administration. Keynote address by Anthony S. Fauci. January 10th, 2017, there will be a surprise outbreak. And it's only because of 5G that these people were just dropping dead with, and others that didn't succumb completely had flu-like symptoms. So to make it a worldwide thing, they had different strains of this that showed up here and the other uh, countries, they said there were different strains showing up. That's why we didn't see people in America dropping dead yet. And, and he has proven it and he's got a video up talking about how he has proved with people going out in their states and looking at the elementary schools, high schools, wherever they could go without getting into trouble and seeing all these workers in white vans with, I can't remember the name of the company, logo on them, putting up something on the schools. And I'm sure many of you have seen that and heard of that. So why are they doing that? Why do they have to put 5G in the schools? It's all so demonic and satanic. It's their plans. But do not forget for a moment, people, that our God is still on the throne and that he is in charge of all of this. He knows exactly what they were going to plan before he created this earth. Remember that. That's why I can't help but think the rapture has to be any time now. It is my hope. Pastor Sandy gets in, if you watch his video, he gets into talking about, oh, I just went on YouTube and found out that we're part of the barley harvest and then there's a wheat harvest what do i tell people what jesus told me that i firmly believe he gave it to me and he's calling me and anyone else preaching it a false teacher well see he just doesn't get it okay if you don't get it if you don't do your own research, listen to the video and listen to the, the, the one with all the scriptures and look them up, study them yourself, take it to the Lord. I can understand where someone who's uh, very scholarly, he's very smart, he's taught himself all this Hebrew and teaches others Hebrew. I mean, that's a hard language. But, pro you know, knowledge can puff you up enough to make you where you're not trainable. Or you're not willing to accept something you didn't learn yourself. That's the problem with really smart people. Like my kids. They're very, very smart. But 
I couldn't tell them that God wanted them to come out of the churches. And that's probably why they call me a spiritual hypocrite. Because I'm supposed to be teaching that everybody needs to be grounded in a good Bible-based church. And the Word of God says, forsake not the fellowshipping of yourself with others. Well, listen. If it wasn't for Jesus putting out messages that he's saying to other people, not me, come out of her, my people. If he gave me one, I don't remember it. I honestly don't. I may have a message out there saying that, but I don't remember. The point is, I know he's been saying it, and we know why. The demons are in all the good ones. Do you want to go to a dead church where there aren't any demons but you get nothing out of it? Or do you want to go to a good church where people are praising the Lord and they're praying in the Spirit? And then you go to the altar and let someone lay hands on you and you don't know who they are or what they got in them that they're going to pass on to you. The Lord knows what he's doing. He doesn't want us to not fellowship with other believers. But those brick and mortar churches are not the place to go if they're 501c3. That's the problem. They've, they've signed up with the government to get that. They have to agree to not preach certain things and to preach certain things. And I know I did a video at least, I'm going to say, a year ago. Where I just had, I call it a vision, but I'm not sure you would really call it a vision. Or like a picture show in my mind. I was with my daughter and my grandson at the church they go to now that I used to go to. And we came out of services and they had all these tables lined up ready to give everybody the vaccine and the mark. Or the mark. I wasn't sure. But I felt like it had to do with the vaccine. And we went like, oh, well, no, we're not doing that. Let's just go. And we couldn't get out. So we went running up the stairs and down the hall and like to the emergency exit up there. And no, we couldn't get out. They had that blocked. And then it ended. So I don't know. It, it must have been a type of vision because I can remember it and my brain doesn't remember things that I just think up. But I can remember this happening like it was yesterday or just a minute ago. Us panicking and running up those steps and down that hall and to the emergency exit and they had it blocked. A guy standing there. I'm sorry, you can't get out this way or something. I don't remember what he said. There was a man there and it ended. He may not have said anything. But the point is, it was quite scary. And I told them they needed to get out of the churches. So I guess that makes me a spiritual hypocrite and that's why they can't talk to me. And I'm sure there's other things too, like, you know, quote scriptures too much and stuff. And then I don't know. I honestly don't know. I was a spiritual hypocrite when I was back when they were little. Yeah, I was. I admitted it. I was an adulterous whore. And... I used to cry at church and ask him to forgive me. And when he first started giving me messages, it was like 
there's no way. I, I, I couldn't even, you know, after the first one, I was like, did I hear that from the Lord? Why would he use me? You know, you ever been used and then you wonder, why would he use me? Well, that I was in that place, but I was, I had repented and I knew I was seeking to be used. Anyway, I didn't even mean to get off into all that. I just wanted to tell you about these videos. I need for you to know that this fall they plan to do here what they did in Wuhan. That tells me the rapture has to happen before that does. Because Luke 21, 36, which Pastor Sandy quoted also, that pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. But if, if you were left behind and that you'd have to you would have to stand strong on Psalm 91 and pray repent of anything you can think of stop doing anything that whatever caused you to not be holy enough we must be holy you must repent you must obey the commands of Jesus and how can you do that if you don't read the word to know what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do basically you love the Lord your God with all your heart mind soul and strength and love your neighbor as yourself and then the rest of the Bible goes into how you do that things people might not think of you know that this is not loving my neighbor if I do this or this is not loving God if I do that okay I'm ending this here I plead the blood of Jesus over it over the video my computer the internet connection and over myself I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections and with that I'm gonna say bye for now I will talk to you later